Okay, welcome back everybody. My plan had been to go back to that uh, back spot that we fished at the very end of the last episode and I still hope to get back there pretty soon but um, I was trying out this rough spot to do a couple cafe orders before starting this and um, this spot is just getting better and better so we still need one rough over 70 grams so we're going to try to get that and then we'll probably move but I did want to tell you about this spot it has just um, it has been incredible lately not only are the rough still coming in uh, really solid but also the white bream seem to be getting bigger and bigger we've been catching some um, really decent white bream especially um, once you get to the overnight hours and then into the early morning has just turned into a really good spot so guess what I'm saying is watch your cafe orders at Mosquito um, but even without cafe orders this spot might be worth just farming right now uh, it's that good I mean the rough the rough markers tend to be pretty decent silver um, compared to the fish at other fish at Mosquito so could do a lot worse than catching some good quality rough and then you throw in the quality of some of the white bream that are coming out of this spot uh, it really turns the spot into something else entirely we probably won't see any of the really fat white bream this early Seems like they're coming uh, more into the overnight hours. But I'm hoping we'll get a lucky early uh, rough so that we can go fish in that back corner for a little bit more. So I think pretty much every fish in the lake is in this spot right now. It's kind of weird. Wow. use really small hooks size 20 or even smaller but 20 is probably about about ideal and we're just using basic worms so if you have a shovel pretty much a free bait
think what I was mostly using here in terms of ground bait, not that I really think it matters that much for these fish, but I was using uh, crackers, bloodworm, and sun sunflower attracting. So. But again, I don't think that matters. You could even, if you have it, make, use a white bream mix and target them even more. In terms of the white bream. Still are not coming in yet, but they will. They will soon. The ref will come in and the bream will get bigger. The nice thing is here at Mosquito, you often have those uh, white bream orders that you don't even need markers for. And same with the rough. All right, there's our first rough. It's not nearly big enough though. We need one that's 70 grams. I guess I ever realized this, but the more ingredients you use, the larger the stack of ground bait you seem to make. I don't think it used to be that way. I just caught a uh, common carp, a big common carp, down in that spot we're about to go fish at. That's a little scary. But last night, someone also caught a trophy Chinese sleeper. I really think the sleepers are getting healthier and healthier down there. Oh, Simolina. That is very scary. Oh, we didn't have ground bait on that one. That's interesting. So note to self, Semolina can um, apparently get the common carp going right now. White bream are starting to get a little bigger. Where are the rough at?
I just feel like this is a, a very exciting, ever-changing spot. I'm not sure that... Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it, I think it's turned into an, actually a really good, a good, good spot, but I kind of have my heart set on going and trying for a uh, trophy sleeper. So if we can get this rough done, then we're going to head out. Oh yeah, I can't forget, we actually got our net at the end of the last video, didn't we? There it is. Just press the space bar and use the net. Oh, is it big enough? Oh, it's a white bream. Good grief. The rough is avoiding us. That's all right though. This is an interesting spot to check out for a little while longer. moment here, aren't we? I'm glad that wasn't like a rough or something as much as it was nibbling. That was weird. Yeah, it figures it's a roach.
I wonder if I should take this ground bait off. This ground bait might be doing something weird with the rough. We had so many rough here a little bit earlier. But I was using a much more basic ground bait. I think it's probably just the time though. Like I think they're just going to get stronger and stronger as the night goes on. I just didn't expect us having to stay here this long to finish this rough order. What we don't have that we probably won't is that that works oh, is that a rough nope all right so let's go with um, crackers and bloodworm only now which one was that this one yep See if that doesn't make a difference. That other ground bait we'll use down there with the. Um... Oh, that was weird. Um... with the uh, sleepers. See, I'd be really curious to try garlic dough. I guess we could try maggots here. We'll be able to try semolina soonish. And the bites have really stopped with the rain or the time or something. Well, this is not what I had in mind. I thought we were going to be at that other spot, but it's fine. We'll we'll go over there for a little while, maybe. But I really, one of these episodes, when the cafe is not taunting me with the, all these rough and white bream orders, I do want to just, like, give it a 24-hour, you know, time down in that bottom spot. It's just such a good spot.
I don't know what's happening. I've never quite seen the, the spot slow down like that all of a sudden. Now it's coming back alive. All right, this is probably a rough. Unless it's a micro white bream. All right, let's try a red worm. I hate to waste red worm in this spot trying to catch this stupid rough, but we really want to get it. I mean, we caught like 30 rough last night and we had six white bream over 300 kilos, I think. So night to night, this spot has definitely slowed down. Maybe for me though, maybe I just fished it out a little bit. Whoa. Wait, was that? That size white bream were, are starting to come out of this spot a lot more often, even just on worms. See if red worms came to the rescue here. It doesn't look like it. it looks a little big to be a rough. Yep. Golly, that's twice on this third rod. It's done that. getting too late. I mean, we're going to miss this rough quarter again.
got to find this rough before like 7 a.m. or it's the chances of a big one coming out just go down dramatically, I think. It's a trophy rough. Just kidding. Just kidding. Fall somewhere. <laughs> uh. took forever but we did it <laughs> okay so now let's get to the fun part I don't know we'll see how much energy I have maybe we'll make this a long episode and try to go into the next night a little bit um, alright so we have it now stinking uh Wait, what? This is a 60 silver order? Wait. Yeah, there we go. I feel like I'm stealing from somebody at this point. Okay. Okay. Hey, it's not a bad time if somebody wanted to get that bleak, you know, catch those bleaks over there on the two bleak orders of mosquito I don't see that very often but they're not worth that much all right let's get a fresh start here we've got some silver we're rolling in it we're just gonna like stack the silver and use it as a chair or something while we go fishing out there um, all right we want to get some pearl barley just gonna spend all the silver I can right now it's going to be hard to, um, it's going to be hard to, you know what I think we're going to do? I think this will benefit us in the long run. I think we're going to buy leeches. Just kidding. I think we're going to buy 300 night crawlers. I just can't watch. Okay, it's done. It's done. It is finished. We're not gonna be digging very much, so we won't we'll just eat our eat our bread and get a full tummy. If it keeps raining, we won't be able to dig much. Okay, so that changes things now that we have night crawlers. So we're gonna try night crawlers. What size hooks do I have? I might need to go back to the store real quick. Wait. Alright. So we have opened Paternoster now. Hey, let's look at that. Alright. Basic bottom. Paternoster. Rig's characters features the leader. The feeder is attached to the leader. Auto setting of the hook. Okay, we'll try one Paternoster. Three 
3.2 liter. So do we want to go buy a six hook though? That's my question. I think we do want to do that. Look at that rough. Holy cow, they're coming out now. Okay. Um, and then on this one, we'll use the eight with, red worm although if I'm not digging we're gonna run out of red worm but and on this one we'll have to use bread so we're keeping these two basic bottom we're putting our third at um, Can I afford to keep that 3.2 liter on though? With night crawlers and a six hook? I think so. I mean, if a common carp snaps us, we just get snapped, right? I think it's okay. Okay, this is where we don't want to buy a cheap hook. I'm kind of liking these 401s. Um, but maybe we'll try a blue one this time. I think that sounds fun. All right, get me away from the store. We just had like over 200 silver, now we're down to 13. And we have no gear to show for it. But those night crawlers will do us well. All right, so we'll fish this spot. For as long as I can, as long as I can stand it, I gotta go to bed after this. But um, if it, if it's exciting, then it'll probably keep me going. If it gets really really slow, I might not be able to make it. We'll see. Um, right hither. I've gone too far, haven't I? Nope. Okay, so we're going size six night crawlers and this is paternoster so I have no idea what's gonna happen I really don't all right clip nine and for right now we're just gonna throw them actually I like kind of like having them crossed like we did last time number two is gonna go in the middle nine clip daytime do we do bread or worms the truth is we probably should do is do we do nine clip here yeah we probably should do worms instead of red worms but we'll see
Yeah, and we could take the night crawlers off during the day, to be honest. I mean, they're probably too slow here during the day, but let's just see how they do for a little bit. All right, so this is on red worms. Pretty nice looking crucian there. And this is bread, also a nice crucian. If I can drink enough tea to get my comfort up level, high enough level to. Actually be able to dig. Yeah, you see how active the bite rate is, but so far nothing on the night crawlers. The night crawlers are just like. When you know there's uh, trophy Chinese sleepers here. And then also the gibbles. They're just like rolling the dice to see about catching trophies. But recently, honestly, Semolina's probably been more consistent. But because those um, Chinese sleepers are back, I think it's worth trying Nightcrawlers down here. Once again. That should get our comfort up. Still can't get over that 60 silver for for six rough. And we had just had a 30 silver as a trophy, unless it's like a common carp or something. I think. It's not a common carp. It should be a trophy. Even on this line. Uh, it doesn't look like a trophy. Oh, it's a common carp. <laughs> no, it's a gibble. It is a gibble. Okay. Yeah, it didn't quite have the roundedness of a trophy gibble. I guess it was pretty close. What does... What does... What does... Wait, what one does not eat to level cooking? Rain must be really miserable. That How are we feeling about the red worm? Guess we'll keep going a little longer with it. This is our first bite on night crawlers, by the way. Yeah, so here the range is picking up. I don't, I don't know that we're gonna overcome it. We, we may just have to give up the idea that we're gonna get any digging at all done. Yeah, the bread is just killing it right now. This is great. 
We should just have bread on all three, I think. Wow, another gibble over a kilo. I think once we do catch one fish off of the night crawlers, we'll switch that up to maybe regular worm, see how worm does. It's gonna slow down here in terms of the size of the fish because we're kind of getting into that time of day where they're not as impressive. Although maybe the rain will help extend that time, I don't know. That nibble never developed into anything. The hook's probably too big for whatever was trying to take it. Switch this to worm. Switch this to worm for a little bit. Immediately a bite. All right, let's see if this fish actually takes it. This will be our first fish on night crawlers, but it took a long time to get there. Let's see, we started with this. Nine minutes for a bite on night crawlers. It's gonna have to be a heck of a fish to keep night crawlers on there during the daytime at least.
should start slowing down here. And the other thing we have going on with this rod is also it's like the most appropriate size hook for this spot. This has got a 12 on it. These other have, is this an eight? Yeah, I mean, that's just too big, honestly. Oh, there is a little fish on there. What is that? A little sleeper? Okay, well, let's, let's catch appropriate size fish here. It probably would make sense to switch the two to have 14. I need to get two more size 12s. We need to always be able to have three 12s on if we want to. And um, we could move, if we keep the night crawlers in, we could move it to an eight off of a six. It might be a little more appropriate. Another nice little crucian, 400, no, 900, dang. I couldn't see all of it, it was just stuck down in the water. This is the third nibble we've gotten on night crawlers, but yet to have a keeper, one that actually got on. Or it could just be the same common carp that's been playing with it forever now, and it's about to wreck my gear. <clears throat> All right, so we put a more appropriate hook size and caught a fish. Yeah, that just feels like a common carp or something, doesn't it? It's kind of scaring me how long it's been biting. All right, here we go for real. Oh, no. Just a little something, a little crucian, just a little crucian. Okay, so do we, we definitely want to put a smaller hook on. I tell you, let's just put bread on it till it gets a little later. And then we'll throw night crawlers back on there. This time of day, it's not super likely we're going to catch a trophy anything in this spot. left side is just where the fat crucians lie. There we go. Some red worms.
I think what we'll do is we'll change the middle line to Paternoster and change the far left one back to basic bottom. Just in case that's messing with us a little bit. Because if we're gonna if I'm gonna put night crawlers back on the stronger line. Well it's really not a stronger line. I guess it is because it's 3.2 liter instead of the 3.1 line, but it's barely stronger. But I want to make sure that Paternoster is not messing with the Nightcrawlers, basically. what time the spot picks up again well the bread just kind of never stopped I guess Now the middle one is Paternoster. And this one goes back to basic bottom. Let's try night crawlers again. go. That's what we want to see.
Oh wow, we're almost 25%. We still haven't made any oatmeal. Okay. There's a nice crucian off pattern Oster. Alright, have we gotten yeah, we've still been getting points in bottom fishing. We'll be able to use boilies at 35%. And then in line at 50. We'll be there before you know it. fish here. Alright, there go the night crawlers. small though. Oh, it is a sleeper. All right. So you're saying there's a chance. It's so nice to see the sleepers here again. <laughs> the random white green on bread just makes me laugh. 
Every time. Yeah, we are definitely hitting the sleepers with the night crawlers, but they're gonna have to get a little bigger than that to justify using uh, expensive bait like a night crawler on them. just don't think I think the worms are not the best chance of getting a trophy sleeper but I could be wrong I think I'm gonna try going down to an eight on the night crawler. It's a little fella. So we, <coughs> we have done so good on harvesting baits today. We're up to 25.1%, which means we can now make sweet dough and wheat grains, mostly what will make a sweet dough. But first we finished making the pearl barley, and then we make some uh, oatmeal, and then we start making a bunch of sweet dough. have to break the bank doing it we just do a little bit a little bit at a time a 
And it's still worth shoveling for the red worms, but we'll definitely get less and less level up points for shoveling at this point. is a sleeper there's a chance ah, it's not a sleeper that's all right it's a decent gibble
Alright. I need something to help wake me up. Let the big old gibbles start coming in. Come on. Yeah, honestly, uh, Nightcrawlers are too slow still. Uh, even with the sleepers being here. It's just a little too slow. You know, we could try a little smaller hook, see if that increases the bite rate a little bit, but you know, sometimes don't overthink it. The worms are catching them some and they're catching other stuff too, so it's probably fine just to use that. Fast swimmer, wasn't he? Whoa, it's a little wide of the mark there. The worms, I feel like, have kind of been a little slow at times, too. Um, and I'm not sure what that's about. I wish that I had a size 12 hook for them, I'll tell you that. I don't like having that 14. It's a little too small for this spot. It's fun to go after the trophies, but really, I think that rough and white bream spot is probably more lucrative right now. Um, and it's still a pretty decent bite rate. But we're not that far from Semolina now, and Semolina will be worth trying down here, absolutely for sure. We also have sweet dough, which can be interesting. Sweet dough's been catching some like white bream and bream species on other lakes. I wonder if the whites would eat it here. I don't know. I guess I just feel like maybe there's a fish on here. You know, it had that bite a while ago. No? But nothing ever came of the bite, so I just wasn't sure what was going on there. I know that seems like a lot of silver for those night crawlers, but over time it will pay off. It's kind of like an investment um, between burbot, eel, 
trophy gibbles. And there's going to be lots of spots here and there that will pop up and, and you know, night crawlers may be beneficial to have. I'll try anything to try to get these night crawlers going. I think what we should probably have instead of night crawlers is we should probably have red worm on since we don't have semolina opened. Um, but we'll see. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I see immediately worms are getting bites in that spot. I think it's just the night crawlers are really slow here right now. And that freaking hook is just too big. What is this on worms? It's just a nice gibble, isn't it? And we had the night crawlers in that same spot and nothing. So the rod's not cursed, it was just the night crawlers.
Wow. That, that is a small crucian on a big hook and a red worm. Sort of the opposite of how I feel about some spots. I actually think bread is probably best here during the night. And then bread is also very good during the day here. And then worms gets better during the day, I feel like. Overnight worms weren't that great. They were okay. But I don't know, that spot seems to be tuned for just really big crucian gibbles on bread or doughy type baits. Semolina, bread, stuff like that. Um, there have been times in the past where it was like really heavy with Chinese sleepers and then you would just put in night crawlers and you would get like trophy sleepers and trophy gibbles like crazy. But that's, doesn't how, that's not how it feels right now. That's not really how it's working right now. Uh, yeah, that's worth seven silver. It's definitely worth nine silver. Oh, did we sell our white bream? That was stupid. How much silver is that we're missing out on 23? That's eh, okay. We sold small, a bunch of small white bream just a little while ago. Okay, so a bunch of just kind of blah, but we caught so many of them at 70 silver. That's great. So we're back up to 100 even with the night crawlers. Pretty awesome. All around, pretty awesome day fishing at uh, Mosquito. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the next thing we want to do is make, I don't know, maybe three to five oatmeals. And then a ton of sweet dough. 
Um, and I think it's about time we do some more cooking next episode. Get some more tea replenished. Uh, do we still have those potatoes to cook? Yeah, finish cooking. Do the cook the potatoes first, then do a bunch more tea, and then we could maybe start cooking egg and sausages some too, just so we don't have to keep eating the uh, loaves of bread. We don't really need the bread anymore. Okay. As always, thanks for thanks for watching. I'm gonna get some sleep. I will catch you next time.